All right, so let's talk about the day before. And I, I, <laughs> every time I try to talk about this game, I want to call it The Last of Us because the name is like almost The Last of Us ripoff in and of itself. So for those of you who don't know, The Day Before is a game that got announced not all that long ago, maybe like a year ago. And it's kind of it kind of looks like the concept of it is like The Last of Us MMO, survival MMO, basically. Like or like the Walking Dead MMO. Like you wake up, there's zombies or, you know, weird creatures and you got to survive in the world and it's a survival game and it's an MMO. But a lot of controversies rolled out about this game as of until like last week, it was the number one wish listed game on Steam. So technically like the most most wanted game in uh in gaming and nvidia actually had it as part of their conference that they held at uh ces uh it's supposed to come out in two months they just doubled down on the release date at that very conference this comes out in march they've shown shockingly little of this game um and i'm trying to decide how much i want to say before i let you speak your piece and <laughs> say what you think of this game before i start going into some of this other stuff um but there's like a lot of questions about this game there's a lot of people questioning whether it's even legit like is it an actual game is this gonna be like some like shell of a of a game and there's a there's a lot of reasons i mean do you want me to get into the reasons why before you go or do you want to do you want to jump you know, in now i forgot this game was even like existed to be <laughs> honest and i'm looking at it on steam and i want to say like just what i'm looking at it, i mean it looks like a zombie right. shooter game. Right. I don't it know if I see... It looks pretty good on the outside. It looks, yeah, I guess on the outside, I mean, it looks like a game. Let's call if it somebody that. somebody told you they were making, like, a Last of Us MMO, survival MMO, I mean, that sounds pretty good, right? Like, oh, that sounds like an interesting concept. Yeah, I can um, get behind it. So, and it somehow, it became the most wanted game on Steam. Like, I, I don't know how this, this happened. So... Some weird stuff has come out about this game. Obviously, there's a lot of people looking forward to it. Uh, I pointed out to people right away that it's from a developer that you've never heard of and a publisher that you've never heard of. So you should always... doesn't mean it's going to be bad, but you should always ask questions you know, about their, you know, the company's track record. If they don't have any, well, it could be good, but you don't have a reason to believe it's like absolutely going to be good. They've mm -hmm. only showed like a minute of this game. In like the most recent trailer, they showed gameplay, but the gameplay didn't have any sound effects, like none. Um, and then they also did like they released this like miniature behind the scenes documentary or something like behind the scenes, like the development of the game, because they're trying to dispel the, the, the talk that this game isn't like a real game. And uh, they said during the documentary that the game's being made with hundreds of volunteer developers online, like over. And then they launch into this big whole spiel where they product place like this new app that they've made. That's like this some like Zoom competitor. Like we developed this entire game over our new Zoom competitor continent with volunteer developers, hundreds of volunteer developers, which is like major, major questions there in multiple ways. And then they released some other like Dead by Daylight clone. That's the only other game that they've made, which they kind of used this game to prop up which is not i didn't mean to make that pun because the game is literally called prop night um but anyway I, I don't know like what do you think do you think this it's it's coming out in two months At, like do you hearing all this that i just told you like what do you think and what do you think looking at it like is this gonna be like a, a epic disaster or i'm scared I mean, like I, I don't know. I, I think that's a little dramatic. I mean, it's a game that you don't have any commitment to besides just like seeing it either fail or not fail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The world's I mean, not like, going to end. Yeah, it's not going to end. It's not going to be like the day before, but uh, as far as, as, far as like with the what? game I'm looking at right now, I mean, like. Is it the game called the day before? Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you mean when you say it's not going to be like the day before? That, do you mean that movie? An, no, I'm just going to. I'm just, I'm just trying to name what drop. What's that movie? I'm, make, I'm just trying to make a pun. Was it like the end of tomorrow or something? Uh, the edge of tomorrow was a movie with Tom Cruise, I think. Not the one I'm thinking of. There's a like a, there's a disaster movie where like the whole world like floods and then it gets a blizzard. The day after tomorrow. Yes, that's what I was, that's what I thought you were saying. No, I'm just trying to like name drop things to make funny. Um, I well you did. 
I mean, the, the, the thing with these kinds of things is that, one, I never heard of it until, I mean, like, I've probably heard of it, but not to the point where it's just, like, circulation stuff like this comes up right now. I'm looking at actual gameplay, what I think is actual gameplay. It's 12 minutes long, and whether that's real or fake, I don't really know. I mean, when you yeah. said, like, oh, we had, like, volunteer developers, like, that definitely raises an eyebrow to me. If they said yeah. that out loud, I'd be concerned. Yeah. Uh, which I'd be like, okay, it's concerning to know like if these accusations are correct or not. Um, it came from the developer themselves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they want to name drop like the other Zoom competitor that they have, like that's cool, good for them, I guess. Like that doesn't bother me much. But as far as that developer volunteer thing, and I'm like, mm, that means that you probably treated like most of your staff like crap, and you probably have some potential failure coming your way. Uh, I just, I can't imagine trying to develop. It's hard enough to make video games at all, right? With full-time employees of hundreds or thousands of people, you know? Yeah. And then, and those are people being paid salaries. And then <laughs> could you imagine trying to develop a AAA MMO-esque game with volunteers like on their own time? I, I, I don't know. I'm, th there's a lot of people questioning whether this game is even like legit or if the hot entire thing is a big scam. Like the thing, uh, what was the game that Sony just fell for a scam? It was like a glorified demo. Oh, it's for spoken. Was it first? <laughs> I don't think it was first spoken, but could, I could have been, to be I, honest. You could, have, you could have fooled me. <laughs> it's um, criteria. Yeah. Oh, God. What was it? It was a horror game. It's driving me nuts. Abandoned. And everybody thought it was like this weird Hideo Kojima conspiracy announcement. Like, this is a Silent Hill game that Kojima is developing. And it got all this attention because Sony brought it out on their stage during one of their con E3 E3 mm -hmm. one of their conferences like everybody was super psyched for this game and then it turned out that it was like a glorified demo and in like the five years it was in development they never made anything more than like a demo but Sony had yeah. Sony had run it out on their stage and they, they tricked their investors and they did nothing with all the money <laughs> it's not even like a real game yeah no, I, I get that I, well, I mean, the most that we can do is wait. I mean, like, if God of War can wait an entire month before it starts marketing its own game, so can anything else, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but I would say, in fairness, you know that Sony Santa Monica, like, I, I'm much more willing to roll the dice on Sony Santa Monica. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, then, no, no, I get you. Company I've never heard of, uh, publisher I've never heard of. It's, uh, I, it blows my mind. I don't know how, unless they have an army of bots. This literally. Like in concurrent, not in like one period, Hogwarts Legacy just overtook it. it. Was the most wish listed game on Steam, and that just like blows my mind because I feel like most people haven't heard of this game. So it's like, where are all these, where are all these people who are wish listing this game coming from? It's just it's odd. And Nvidia really partnered have, with them, and yeah, it doesn't really have a lot of followers on their official Twitter account either. Right, they're definitely active. Because they're retweeting things. It's just odd, bizarre situation all around. I mean, I would love if it comes out and it's great. Because, I mean, the concept is cool. Their developer Twitter page only has 116 followers. What the hell? Well, they're all volunteers. So. There, there's got to be bots. They probably have, like, some code bot that's just wishlisting. Like, creating multiple Steam accounts and just wishlisting the Isn't game. Isn't it crazy how, like... and. and I should look more into how this translates, but there's like, like developers put so much on wishlisting their game. And I mean, there's obvious logistical reasons, like they'll get notifications and like sale notifications and stuff. Yeah. But I, I, I think that they like, they somehow make money off of that too. And I don't know if that's through like, I'm because they can sure attract marketing like deals. Like, Hey, we've got, yeah. you know, this many people who've wishlisted our game. You know, what's crazy is that wishlisting has been around for like, ever oh like, yeah i feel like wishlisting was always like this weird like add to your queue gimmick to like just rem help you remember about a game that you didn't want to yeah. lose track of right and like i want to say over the past ever since e3 left um actually no like a little bit before like at the very trail end of e3's lifespan they would have like the pc game show and that's whenever you start seeing wishlist 